Here's a shot taken with my GoPro camera at the entrance to an amazing state park in Sedona, Arizona. I want to replace the sign with something else. Now the shot is a bit shaky in some places, and before I track it, I want to stabilize it first. For a moving shot like this, I often use the smooth cam option because the analysis is looking at three areas of camera movement. Translation smooth is the up, down, and sideways movement of the camera. Rotation smooth is movement clockwise or counterclockwise around the center of the image, and scale smooth is the camera's movement backward or forward. I usually bump up all three to get good results. The image I'm going to use to replace the sign with, I created in Photoshop and exported as a PNG file. I'll park the playhead over the clip in the timeline and press X to mark a range. Then I'll drag the image into the viewer directly over the sign. Final Cut Pro's machine learning goes to work looking for an object to lock onto for the track. Now before I go any further, I want to point out the Final Cut Pro does not have a corner pinning tracker like you would find in motion. But on the right footage, you can use Final Cut Pro's object tracker in combination with a distort tool to emulate it, and you can get decent results. So with that caveat, let's proceed. If you've watched Mark's tutorial on mastering the object tracker, one of the things he mentions is that you can help the tracker out by aligning the anchor points of the object you are tracking with the object being tracked. If you want to check it out, there's a link below. I'll drag the Photoshop graphic until the anchor point is directly over the anchor point of the tracker. Next, I'll choose the Distort tool from the on-screen menu, then drag each corner of the graphic so that its perspective matches the face of the sign. I'll right-click in the viewer and choose Transform, then Analyze a Clip. Let's play that back. Well, that's ugly. With the graphics still selected, I'll go to the inspector and enable scale. Currently, only position and rotation are enabled for the tracker. I'll play it back to see if that helped. I'd say it helped more than just a little. We could still see some of the sign's letters peeking out behind the graphic. To deal with that, I'll return to the distort tool, then adjust each corner to widen it out. Let's take a look at the final result. That looks good. Is it perfect? No. Would it work in a pinch when a shot like this would be on the screen for only a few seconds? Dang straight it would. So if you need actual corner pinning for the track, you'll need to use motion, and Mark will show you why in an upcoming Mac break. Hey, if you like our channel and are benefiting from it, please consider giving us a sub, and don't forget to check out Mark's full tutorial on mastering the tracker in Final Cut. Thanks for watching.